Yep, so I'm sitting here tuning out this particular amplifier. We're not going to get into the big logistics of the amp itself, but wanted to show you the output tune, which is something I've never done before. This output tune consists of three 500 volt metal mica caps in series. Now what I was needing for this tune to work well was I was needing around 150 picofarad at the highest voltage that I can get it and the, uh, of course the highest uh, current handling capability as well. But you ask yourself, uh, how, did I, how did I take time to use three capacitors in series of course, you know, there's, there's a mathematical equation you can use to tell you what a c capacitors are going to equal in series. I mean, in parallel, you just add them up, you know, but in series, it's a little different. Um, but, of course, there's a mathematical equation to do this, of course. But how did I figure out what caps I was going to use within, I would say, 60 seconds how did I do that well I'd love to show you because it's something pretty neat that I thought up of not too too long ago actually while working out in the morning the idea came to me and uh, but to show you I need to bring you over to my computer so let's go and take a look so, well first off here um, if you hear any uh my beautiful cat in the background meow when i like to apologize ahead of time i actually recorded this video this morning while on the old treadmill like a mouse shall i like to say and i'm doing the voice over this evening so anyway i've got uh remotely connected to my pc at the house and i am showing you this script that i made using python and it is Wow, it is something I'm going to be using from, from here on out. Now, I'm getting the screen adjusted here. But basically, I just wanted to come up with a script that allowed me to input every single capacitor value that I currently have, that I currently own. And then it used each of those values to generate a list of, for me of capacitors in series to get to the certain value that I'm needing. Now, the whole gist of it is the percentage. You know, you want to know how close a percentage do you want to get. And, you know, the lower the better. So you'll see I've got it set to 1% right now. Okay. In the little tag, you see 5%. That's how I started the code. So I'm just going to explain this code. That is the target right there where we're trying to get to, which is 150 picofarad. Okay, that's what we got it set to. There's the tolerance. We want to generate this down to 1%. Anything outside of 1% to um, 150, we don't care about. And this right here is the full list of metal clad capacitors that I currently have on hand. Now, I probably don't have every one of these on hand, but I just basically just for testing, I did a general list of capacitors that's readily available. And while doing this test, I, I was just thinking of silver dip micas and metal clads. Just, just, just as a test, I wanted to kind of just out of my head put a big long list of values that, that I know of, you know, just mentally. So what this script's going to do is it's going to go through every possible combination and give me a final list of what I, this particular script right here is for two capacitors, okay? For what two capacitors will give me 150 picofarad within 1% of 150? Within 1%. All right, and this right here is where the code that does all the magic. It is a triple nested 
code. Two, a double nested for statement and a double nested if statement. And then the code that you see below that, which I won't circle, that does all the printing for me on screen. Well, I do circle it, I forgot. But that does all the formatting and the printing, so I know what I'm looking at when I generate the list. Now, this code is powerful. I have never seen anything like this on a web page. You've got lots of different calculators on web pages, but I've never seen anything particular like this. I mean, you can sit here and find any value you want with the capacity you got. All right, so we did this for 1% for 150 picofarad. And as you see, here's the list that it gives us. 160 plus a 2100 in series. And I even made it so that it tells me exactly what picofarad it equals, which you'll see as 148.67 picofarad. Zoom in a little bit so you can see this better. Now this is using those list of capacitor values that I inputted. Now once we go over and show the script that I made for three capacitors, you're going to get a lot more results because you're using a lot more capacitors. So it gives you a better possibility of coming up with more results. So just for the fun of it, let's change this value. see let's change it to I believe I changed it to 100 you got to forgive me y'all I'm having a lot of problems doing this you gotta understand I'm sitting here walking on a treadmill while making this video <laughs> I've had a little bit of practice about six seven months worth of practice so far so I've gotten to where I can do it but it may be a little scriggity scraggity a little shaky at times so we're going to do 150 picofarad and run the script that's what I do when you see me press and play so here is a list we get for 100 picofarad within 5% we get a couple more results that's just the name of the game you know it all matters what picofarad uh, part that you're needing you may have more or less results results with the list of capacitors that you gave so here we go You'll see right here, a 110 plus 1100 gives you a 0%, 100 picofarad capacitor. And look down there, we got two more that are 100%, 0%, which gives you exactly 100. A 140 and a 350 and a 150 and a 300. Did you ever know that? I didn't. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The mathematical formula that you can get offline or wherever it gives you the formula but you've got to come up with the capacitors you use to make that formula work and i'm telling you just seeing this script run again since i ain't ran it in a couple of days i just had to sit here and write on the screen this script is for i thought i was about to say something else for two okay i'm just reminding you this script is for two <laughs> For two capacitors in series. I thought I was about to say uh, this script is awesome. I think I said that in the next one or something. But anyway. Now let's go check out the script for three capacitors in series. Which is what I actually used to come up with the 1500 volt part. That's what, that's what I was going to say. If you're asking yourself why would you need to use three capacitors to make stuff more more difficult if you need a higher voltage part you'll see this being done in old school power supplies where they put a lot of electrolytics in series to hit equal a high voltage part but they get a very small capacitance but a capacitance that they need with this with the, this within range for the ripple of the power supply so this script right here is for using three capacitors. You'll see that the main code, the main body of the code is a little bit more in depth because we had to do some double nested calculations for three capacitors. So since I explained everything, we're going to go ahead and run it. Now I've got this um, formatting a little different since because it's given us a lot more results. I can have this format and show me the 
the list of capacitors it comes up with many different ways, but this is the way I did it side by side from left to right. So as you'll see, it's given us three different one, three different answers side by side going from left to right. So the first one you see is a perfectly 150. A 200, a 1200, and a 1200 in series gives you exactly 150. Exactly 150. You see that? Right on the dang money. But I did not have a 200. And plus, I wanted to use three capacitors that were equal current handling capability. And that's why I picked what I picked. Because a 200 picofarad metal is going to be a skinnier capacitor and may not be able to handle as much current as a as a bigger value so let's change this you say it gave us a lot of results a lot of results like i said you're going to get more results when you're dealing with more capacitors in series for the equation and i guess i should have put the equation on the screen for this um, if you want to know what the equation is to figure up in series just google it it's one of the most common equations you can find. So let's do a 100. 100 picofarad, 1500 volt part, if you're using 500 volt capacitors. And here we go. I'm sure you can see the way it's doing it. It's doing three results left to right. So three different parts it comes up with on each line. Okay, just for the fun of it, I think if I remember right, I'm going to change the tolerance now. Yeah, I'm going to change that 5 down to 1 because 0 0.01 equals 1%. So we're, we're calculating for 1%. And that's another thing. If you do a higher tolerance, you will get more results because tolerance means, you know, within the percent of the value. So we're changing it to 75 picofarad. At 1%, we're going to change the tolerance here in a minute. But if you put 5%, for example, you're going to get a lot more results. But when you're doing this, you want to get down as close as you can to the value. So you may even want to try um, a half of per, a half a percent, meaning less than 1%. Look at that. 225, 225, 225. Y'all see that? I'm about to write it on screen, but I had a little mess up there with them because I'm, I'm having to keep clicking on different icons when I want to draw when I want to move the mouse but look at this right here this shows you this math that I have programmed into this script is exact look at this if you take a look at a Texas star sweet 16 1600 Texas Star 8 bill, you will see this right here is their output tuning part, their output tuning shunt on the output to ground, which is three 225 picofarad caps in series. See, when they worked it up, they worked it up for exact. They needed exactly 75. And they probably special ordered those metals just for that and probably ordered thousands upon thousands upon thousands of them. Because a 225 metal isn't a exact value. They probably custom ordered them. And I personally have a few. That's why I added it to the list. And you'll see there's others too. Like a 200, 200, 300 equals exactly 75. Now just imagine how many if you did four in series, you'd really have a lot of results, but <laughs> there's no need for that. I wanted to mainly make a script for two and make one for three. Sorry about the cat, y'all. I'll try to get her out of here. But now what we're going to do is we're going to change the tolerance target. And we're going to change it. We're actually going to do something I'd never tried to do with this script yet. I had never made it zero. So I was kind of worried. Is this going to break my code? Because I had not actually tried this yet. We're going to make it 0%, meaning only give me results that equal exactly, exactly my target. So we're at 75 picofarad right now. Now look at this. 
we actually have a couple of results. We already knew we had two, but I didn't look at everything else. Wow. <laughs> I had to write on there, wow, because I'm in real time, you know, I'd never tried 0.00%. I didn't know if that would break my code or what. So I was kind of happy on the old treadmill walking like a mouse. But uh, that was really cool. Look at that, 120, 250, 1,000. 180, 225, 300. Really cool, man. Really cool. 110, 300, 1,100. So that will show you this script is very useful for somebody that's needing to make up custom parts for tuning. And I think I'm going to continue making more of these scripts like this for resistors, for, for anything that I come up with that will make my life a little easier when it comes to, you know, troubleshooting or building, tuning amplifiers. And something else I want to do later so this script can be used by you. There is a way for me to integrate this Python programming technology into a web page so that you can actually play around with these scripts on a web page. So just give me time. I'm going to play around with that here in the near future and put it on gatekeeperamps.com. But I personally, like I said, I've searched the web. I have never seen a script like this available on the web. Now, if you do want this script, I will freely give it to you. Um, basically, all you need to do is just go to python.com and install Python. And you can run this script in your DOS prompt or your command prompt. Or you can download PyCharm. You can just look up PyCharm. That's where I'm running this at. Um, I actually designed this in PyCharm. The power of math, y'all. <laughs> math is one of the most powerful things. I think the whole universe can be summed up with one equation. Well, this is the old gatekeeper, y'all. Hope you enjoyed me being the old egghead, incorporating my computer skills into my other hobby that I love. God bless. Do something nice for somebody, y'all. We'll see you.